Welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in today um, another recipe to share and it involves organic chicken and I love organic chicken uh, but what I don't like is when my organic chicken is overcooked um, so in this recipe I'm gonna share with you how to make a perfect boiled chicken with rice that goes so well with the uh, spicy and sour sauce. So the, the three main ingredients here is the, the chicken, the delicious chicken, um, the rice that I'm gonna use the chicken broth to make, and uh, lastly is the actual uh, sauce. Has to be very spicy. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get to it. So in this recipe, I use one chicken, organic chicken. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than um, the antibiotic uh, type of chicken, but um, let me tell you, it tastes so much better. And I, this one, I got about uh, four pounds. Um, so it's a little bit big. The time that I'm gonna be cooking is also a little bit longer than usual, but um, if you have smaller chicken, you can also decrease the time accordingly. So four pounds of organic chicken, uh, wrap it, clean it very thoroughly with salt. I do this a few times, making sure that my chicken is perfectly clean. And then um, set it aside. For the water to boil this chicken, I use about 16 cups of water. So what goes into the, uh, the chicken broth? It's, it's so important uh, for me. I always like to smell the flavor uh, of lemongrass. And lemongrass work wonder into um, anything, any uh, meat, because it kind of cut away all the smell, the bad smell of the, the chicken or any organs. So uh, in this recipe, I use four stalks of lemongrass, five cloves of garlic, one piece of ginger, one sweet onion, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sugar. Now for the sauce, I use five cloves of garlic, a whole bunch of hot chili peppers, and then also four tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of fish sauce, and two limes. All right, so first you have to break up everything. Um, for the onion, cut it into four, but then don't need to like cut it completely, just basically slice it so it opens up a little bit because uh, how long you're gonna take the chicken, it's gonna break apart anyway. So just leave it the whole like this. For the ginger, slice it up like this. For the garlics, also break them up. You can also use any any tool at all to break uh, the garlic and also the um, the lemongrass. And the reason that you have to break all of these ingredients and slice it up to make uh, is to make sure that um, it, the the aroma comes out from all of these ingredients. And then next, just drop it right into the water before it boils. the sugar, the salt, and for the turmeric powder, make sure you add a little bit of water to dilute it a little bit, no more clumps, perfectly mixed, and then add it into the broth. Mix it a little bit and then cover it up, bring it to boil. Uh, and remember in the whole recipe here, uh, so far I've been putting my temperature very high, very high heat. Once it boils, put the chicken in, but don't put it all the way in yet. Uh, sometimes the skin just kind of break apart when you do that so let it slowly emerge into the water uh, bathe it with the broth slowly so then the the skins kind of get a little bit uh, tie up so it doesn't break apart later on and then drop it right into the water cover it up bring it to boil once it start boiling you can lower the heat down now to medium high instead of high um, so in this recipe i use about seven out of ten for my heat and i cook it about 30 minutes 30 minutes later just turn off the stove but do not open it up and do not take it out just leave it on the stove for another 20 minutes uh, so what it's doing is that 30 minutes for a four pounds chicken um it's sometimes it's not too cooked yet it's uh, probably still a little bit blood inside um, 
but if you cover it and leave it on the stove for just another 20 minutes it slowly cook and perfectly uh, make 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 a chicken so tender it's just so much so much better than just take it out right away okay all right here you go 20 minutes later it's all done set it aside and now I'm gonna cook my rice in this recipe I use three cups of rice but however many cups you want to eat um, just use it accordingly and then I wash the rice just normally like how I would you know cook the rice in the rice cooker but instead of using the regular water I use the uh, chicken broth the broth that I uh, used to cook the chicken um, again the same amount of water how however much you, you usually put to cook your rice and there you have it the rice is cooked cut up the chicken and set it up like this chicken and the rice all done now let's get into the sauce uh, very simple how to make this sauce um, you can blend it using a blender but um, in this recipe I just do it manually so I like to cut up the um, the garlic and the chilies a little bit hope with the process when I mix them together and then blend them all together and then add the uh, three tablespoons of sugar mix it just a little bit longer and then add all the lime juice and lastly, the fish sauce. And that's it. I tasted it and it's so perfect. And that's exactly uh, the, the, the perfect recipe for the sweet, sour, and spicy sauce that can go with, with the, uh, the chicken. As you could see in this recipe, I didn't put a lot of salt or sugar into the chicken broth itself because I want the uh, chicken to be like bland. It's not too much flavor yet because I'm gonna dip it into another sauce anyway. All right, so there you have it. Here's how it looks like. All right, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try it out right now. So uh, let's get to it. All right, it looks so pretty. Of course, excuse my dog, she loves chicken. <laughs> so this organic chicken looks so delicious and it has a uh, uh, the yellow color to it because of the turmeric powder um, and I'm loving it. I think it, it just make it even more refreshing and just appetizing. You want to eat that when you see it. Um, so let's taste it out and see if I overcook my chicken or not. That's how it looks like. All right. Importantly, before I put it into the sauce, I just want to taste if it's a little bit too salty or not because um you know in case it's too much salt in the broth mm. Mm. not too salty perfect now i'm gonna dip into the sauce okay mm. Oh, the sauce is so good. It goes so well with this. Mm -hmm. mm. The aroma from the rice is so good. So good. Mm -hmm. I don't think I overcooked my chicken. I think it's good. Mmm. Tender. So tender. It's not too weird and it's not like falling apart like, you know, antibiotic chicken. It's perfect. probably look like a mess right now <laughs> whenever I eat this um, I always have to have cucumber with it it kind of help balance the flavor 
And vegetable goes so well with anything anyway, right? Cucumber. Goes so well with everything. Mm. Alright, let's dip it again. Mmm. 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 So good. So good. So, the texture, as you could see, um, it's not at all overcooked. Perfect. Not overcooked. Um, but, in Asian restaurant, when they make it, they actually cook in less time, probably 25 minutes. Um, so you could see a little bit of blood in the bone. They like it a little bit raw, more raw than that. So some people probably overcook side if you compare to the restaurant, uh, Asian restaurant quality. But for people who like to eat cooked chicken, like perfectly cooked chicken, this is perfect for the time, the amount that I use to cook the chicken. Mm-hmm. And the sauce. Mmm. Chicken would be only chicken without the sauce. Sweet, sour, spicy. Mm. So for the sauce, I kind of uh, made a lot. So then I can put it in the refrigerator and then I can eat it with anything else in the future. It goes with anything, not just the chicken. Specifically, the sauce that I made. Um, it's so perfect with seafood. If you just boil bland seafood and dip it into this sauce, you will fall in love with it. I'm telling you. You will love, love this sauce. One of my favorites. Mmm. I love how tender this chicken is. Mmm. So good. I will go on and continue eating this, but I don't think you want to watch me eat the entire time. <laughs> Bottom line is, if you like perfectly cooked chicken, the amount of time, the recipe, the ingredients, everything that I put in here, it's just perfect. If you like it like Asian restaurant uh, quality, which is a little bit undercooked, so then you can still see some blood in the bone. Um, cut the time down to only 25 minutes instead of uh, 30. So it's a little bit tricky when it comes to, to chicken because it depends on the size. Technically, if it's smaller than that, you only need 20 minutes to cook this chicken. So depending on the size of your chicken, but uh, for my size, which is four pounds, I need it to be uh, I needed it to be 30 minutes, uh, just so then it's perfectly cooked. Uh, still preserve the flavor, uh, everything is just still so good. But again, this chicken is organic. Um, I don't know about the American chicken, the antibiotic one. The meat is, uh, it tends to be more, um, more soft and falling apart. So I don't even think you need this much time if you use a uh, regular uh, antibiotic chicken. Um, Cook accordingly, but um, this is the recipe I have for you for the exact type of chicken I use, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, and if you don't want to make the chicken, you are um, a vegetarian or whatever. Um, well, even vegetarian, you probably cannot eat this because it has fish sauce in it. But this sauce is so good. You need to make this sauce sweet and sour and spicy. It goes so well with anything, seafood and meat. So. When you get a chance, make it. <laughs> naughty, naughty dog. Naughty dog. Sit, naughty dog. Sit down. Sit. Interrupting, mommy? Sit down. Sit. Riley, sit. Sit. Alright, so that is it for today's recipe. I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Hey! Oh! <laughs> uh, thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!